Hello everybody and welcome back to Immortals of Avium. Before we get started, I just want to remind you that this um, <clears throat> series is being made to help my friend Shelby, who is uh, in a contest to be featured in Inked Magazine, and she needs your help, and you got to help her by voting, so you can go to originals.inkedmag.com slash 2023 slash S-H-E-L-B-Y dash T-H-O-M-A-S Inked Magazine, originals.inkmag.com slash 2023 slash Shelby Thomas would really help uh, a lot if you could do so. So thank you for that. Uh, link is in the description. Let's get going. When we left off last time, we uh, were here um, in Oramin. We're about to do this. Uh, we're about to uh, restore and get rid of all this corruption. Uh, and I already have a feeling it's going to lead to, like, one of these boss worm type things. So. She bailed again. She did. But I managed to learn that the Sky Librarians built the Chronicler constructs to serve as assistants in some great undertaking that ultimately went pear-shaped, by which I knew the constructs killed them all in a bloody uprising. Everyone? So there's no one at the library to ask about Thaddeus. And yet you'll persevere. For my part, I'm going to hunt down and destroy as many of the Chroniclers as I can. They're too close to the Lucian border for my liking. Copy that. Meet me at the library when you can. Okay, well, took down that guy. Where's that thing at? There we go. Alright, so I'm guessing that we're just going to use that to get up there because we got to head this way. The question is, how do we get that down there? There's like something, there's like a, there's a shroud vein underneath us, but it doesn't look like we can get like underground. Oh, um. There we 
go. I'd seen that when I was standing up here, but I was looking for that switch, so... God damn it. So the trash man, it is the trash man. So this leads over to here. Can we actually get... Oh no, it's like locked. It specifically has a lock on it. Alright. an easier way to get these, right? There we go. Like, I feel like it is, there's got to be some kind of easier way to get those, is there not? Issue of the Orman Tribune. Season of Thought, the 13th day of the month of Gears, 1016 PA. Rasharan grants citizenship to constructs. Death machines or amicable neighbors. That's what, on, what that's what's on everyone's mind as the kingdoms of Avium turn their attention to the Magni of House uh, Erican, the leaders of Rasharan's current regime. As a follow-up to the Conclave of Gulad, Rasharan has uh, is proving they that they are practicing what they preach as of the twelfth day of the month of Gears, have issued a proclamation granting limited citizenship to constructs. The Ormond Tribune was there to ask Rasharn's human citizens what they thought of this bold new mandate. Well, I don't know. We've got an Archon living next door, and it seems nice enough. It's surprisingly into gardening and meditation. Who would have thought, said uh, Caven, a free celebrant of, uh, the, of uh, DeLorean, of the DeLorean race. They worship the great DeLorean. Uh, 130 armor. That's it. Alright. Okay. More of this metal shit. Oh, we're gonna have a fight here.
thought that was a chest for a second. That'd be this here. Okay, so dissolving the big metal uh, nodes clears patches of it up. Good to know. That's a good thing. something is chest eleven thousand dollars Well, it spawned me here, so that's what matters. Fine with that. We got the chest there. It keeps showing that there's like a door right here, but we've been through the door? It's not underneath here, because that just kind of falls off. Devin, I keep coming across some weird swirling metal material. Any idea what it is? I've seen it before. Constructs often take their embedded instructions and improve on them to do their jobs better and faster. Sometimes they leak those instructions. It comes out of them like, uh, metallic sweat. You mean, learning? You. They leak learning. Sure. Invariably, it bubbles out and just makes a mess. Constructs are usually broken down before it happens. The fact that there's so much, well, leakage, look, around here means these chronicles have probably become very, very smart. Metal memory. Turns out the that the older constructs eventually start to leak their thought patterns. I guess as they become more intelligent, it takes the shape of this metallic goo foam stuff. Look, just go with it. As these metal memories overlap, they start forming tendrils, webbing and anchor-like nodes to hold all of it together. The chroniclers may just be trying to improve on the library in some way or trying to bury it. Alright, 
right. Um. Something over here. Maybe. Here we are. Oh, there's a gold chest down here as well. All right, before we do that, let's see. Um, okay, uh, again, I am using this. That needs two. I think I'll I think I'll wait till I have two because I I use that one more than most. So lattice fane. Oh boy. I already have a feeling I know what's going to be going on with this one. Yep, I didn't turn. I forgot that I could turn on this. Damn it. Can't even get past the first one. Really? What the fuck? What the fuck? And then I have to start all the way over. Son of a bitch. Yeah, see, now these are starting to get annoying as well. Like... It doesn't help that you can't see very well. Can I fucking quit this? Okay. At least I can I know I can exit it.
God damn. The the problem the the problem really is that it's hard to see. Because the camera You can only move the camera so much. Vortex? What the hell is this? Oh, okay. It's a spell. That allows you to hurt more enemies. Okay. Uh, the problem is you can't move the camera very well. So, like, you can't see necessarily what's in front of you. And that's really the issue with that. So, alright, well... We at least somewhat got it. Okay, then there's... Ability to craft some shit. Again, like, literally everything that I'm using is, like, better. Everything else just kind of gets rid of... ...what I like using, so... Melee sucks. I don't want to use fucking melee. I'll do this. Increase the mana. Destruct. Goodbye. Goodbye. I mean, it's like I'm using all this level 16 and then this and then this uh, level 50 that I have. I just don't think there's going to be anything that I actually am going to end up using. It's a little, it's a little broken, you know. Like having this thing is like. I mean, sure, there are some others that do better in some of the other departments, but I don't want to decrease anything, to be honest. think so. Right behind a big-ass pile of that mine metal shit. The Chronicler's blocked it off. Why? How would I know? I'll try to clear a path. Will I be able to do that, though? There's another door over here. Oh, there is... Oh, okay. Oh, I see. We have to just, like, destroy all the nodes, work our way through it. Well, that doesn't really work for these magic enemies. So... Maybe not the best for them. Maybe for the soldiers it will be. Alright, let's clear this note out first before I go looking around. Note. 
Akoth and the Gatarond. Unfortunately, shortly after Akoth's death, Oromin was subjugated to the Gatarond, a magical disaster that killed hundreds of thousands of citizens and reshaped the topography of the land forever. During this sudden calamity, the foundations of Oromin's mountains crumbled to sand, creating the desert that currently marks the region. However, these mountain peaks were borne aloft into the clouds by Tex Lost. After the, disaster, after the disaster, and despite rumors in Lucium that the Gatarond had been caused by Akoth's ideas of shared magic, the Oromic survivors built the Library of Akoth, an institute of cultural equality. Dedicated to Akoth's goal of shared distribution of magic, the library leveraged a group of enchanted chroniclers to research additional solutions for returning spellcasting abilities to all citizens of Avium. Unfortunately, these chroniclers... Text lost. Hmm. Let's see. Alright, so now we can get up here. Um... That leads to this. That leads to this. this one. Do you actually have to destroy it with the color? I think you do, actually. I think you do actually have to destroy it with the color that it is. Alright. Fair enough. Switches. Go lock that door. We gotta find them all. Gold chest. Nice. All right, so I can now get the. Uh, I can now get this. Direct hits with the torrent missiles deal 100% more damage. So, through here, we have this. Ok. 
Okay. Some of the door is unblocked. Yeah, but we need to go over here. Can I get through over here now? Yes, you can. What is this all about? Mormon Council on Planar Cohesion. The Void's Edge Observatorial Committee's recent annual report regarding the expansion of the wound is irrefutable. Even though the wound's entropic nature uh, perpetuate perpetuate Perpetuates? Per oh, perpetuates. God, dude, I'm dumb, dude. Well, I can't read good. Uh, the the in perpetuates. The inability for us to observe its expansion, the fact remains undeniable. The pit has grown larger over the la last decade, more than the entirety of the. You know what? I, fuck it. The previous century. Look, just read it your damn self. Right, I, I I don't read good apparently. Hello everybody. Woo! Just spam him with the shotgun. Um. Okay. that again. Uh, Tetherson's infamous scoff laws in Ormic history. A dedication. My name is Karik Bearing East. Bosun of the Cloud Frigate Foul and Many Feathered, under Wright Captain Bannum, long veteran of the Everwar, father of four, including you, little piglet. Damn, what a title. <laughs> My eyes were purchased at the Palathon for Skywork. I wear your Grand's finger sigil as a charm. My antique manner of dress is questioned daily by the rest of the crew, but I won't let the old ways be forgotten. And yet I still can't spell my name in High uh, Aristean. Our family is the Karach the Kar Karishi, a sky tribe of Ormen in the East Bering, uh, Bering East clan. We made what fortunes we have by never straying far from the Bannams. Theirs is a wealthy house and healthy fleet, and if they say we must fight for the Lucian King, despite the council, then color my flag a toothy white and blue. Now let it be known that... That's it. Nothing else. Okay. Gone, devil. Oh, 
wondering where I'm supposed to go from here. I mean, there is this one right here, but... Okay, so there is a, uh, another one of these. Question is, where is the green? be able to find it without going all the way back down. Ah. No, I'm gonna have to go down anyway. Bracer. Door looks clear now. There we go. have this one in here. Nice. Oh, not so nice. Not so nice. Sorry, buddy. Let's see, uh, this bracelet, ooh, armor 30, fury damage 32, oh, magic, well see this has a better shield though, I mean it's, it's higher rated but I have a better, but the shield, I like having the shield, so I think I'm gonna skip that one, alright, uh, let's see here. Spells. Uh, hold on, let me see here. 
using blink resets your shield's cooldown, restores 20% of maximum shield health. Moving speed when using the shield spell. Schedule strikes. So is this just like specifically for this isn't actually for the attack, right? It's just for That's Lash. Oh, well, the cooldown of Lash, additional Lash. Those would be good as well, actually. Okay. Fair enough. out uh uh hello uh hi uh, hi you're not gonna attack me are you uh oh boy Woo! health increase. Bring a balance. Alright. Uh, we have some new stuff as well. No. All sigil re uh, recoil. All sigil reload time. Alright, uh, Archons. Tall, powerful, and created in human form before that became an illegal practice. Archons are among the most deadly constructs to use in the Everwar, not just because of their physical strength or magical attacks, but because they're straight up hard to kill. The original process used to make, the, uh, make them has been lost, but some Magni think the Archons have found a new way to replicate themselves by infecting other constructs and transforming them from within. Unlike normal constructs, Archons serve no master, but they can be negotiated with and even bought. A few of them have even found themselves within the ranks of Sandrak's army. Well, that's a problem. That sounds like a big ol' fucking problem.
Hail Forest Fanes. Right? That's nice. Thanks for telling me where that shit is. I don't really give a fuck, but thanks for letting me know. Alright, now we're actually entering the archives. What you doing? Oh, hi! With this. My friend put an invisible ward on the lock that'll blow your hand clean off. We didn't want the chroniclers down here, or thieves, or spies from another... He's right behind me, isn't he? Yeah. My friend is the interesting bit, wouldn't you say, Jack? Invisible wards are a pretty complex bit of business to conjure up. Also, please put that down. Nice craftsmanship, by the way. Surely it's not local. Your friend wouldn't be named Thaddeus, would he? Why, you here to kill him? What? No. Why would you think that? Thaddeus said some Lucian assassin goons might turn up looking for him. Said he ran afoul the downright tyrannical bylaws their order of magic swears by. Thaddeus led that order. Yeah, he sounds just like that. He was an immortal. Before he decided to abandon his post, that is. Does he really talk like that? Yeah, he does. Look, we just want to talk to the guy. Can you take us to him? Please? Thaddeus isn't here. Abandoned that post, too. Come on. He left some things behind that might help you. Look at us! Friends now! United through the sense of abandonment by an authority figure. Well, I wouldn't say that. Thaddeus is a real asshole. You know that, right? Clearly. He said he was going to help me restore the library. That we'd figure out a way to clear all the chroniclers out. And we almost did it. Right up until he found the archives down. Why do you leave? Never really cared to find out. What kind of trouble was he in with you guys? I mean, I know that Lou seems pretty... Never mind. It was before our time. She was going to say fascist. Lucium's fascist. Is that why you and Thaddeus hit it off out here in the anti-conformist frontier? Mormon was a commune, jackass. That's as conformist as you can get. Magic was shared by everyone here, not just those that made sure they were born with it. She got some real stompy boots. We're here. Thaddeus was, uh... Messy. Maybe something here will tell you where he went. Will it? Aha! This is his last journal, and I really have to say thank heavens for multiply underlined map coordinates. He says he's going to Pentac 4.5 to, um, 357. That's in Calthus, right around... Oh, no. He went to Mount Dresnia. Assuming he got past the Rashanians, and assuming he got past the Underdwell. That's the Magic Eaters. The Alori. It's said a very large contingent of them make the Underdwell their home. <laughs> this is madness, Jack. We can't go there. We're Magni. The Lori will kill us on the spot. A lot of good eating on a madness. Sandrak's still out there with the Binding Stone. And Thaddeus may be the only one that knows how to stop him. We're assuming Thaddeus is alive. Well, you are. I most definitely think he's extra dead. We don't have a choice. Well... <laughs> If you're really going to risk walking into a den of magic hunger demons, I can take you to a ley line that'll lead you directly to Calthus. All right, let's do it. All right, well. Well, at least she's partnering up with us. Devin, you stay here. Hunt down the rest of the chroniclers getting too close to Lucium. You can catch up with me later. Will do. Be careful, Jack. Thanks for your help, faithless rebel. Anything to get you off my islands, bootlicker. For real, though, we appreciate it. I know you'd rather stay out of all this, but I've seen Sandrak absorb a ley line and move the wound. No one can afford to ignore the Everwar now. Just watch me. It's sad that you're caught up in it all, because you're really hot. Good luck finding the old man. Okay.
Thanks. Take out this. Take us. All right. Yeah. So this is that one that was locked earlier that we couldn't go through. Hurrah! Gravity challenge rocks. Again, that's chapter eight, not seven, but okay. Sir, I've reached Caltus. Oh, it's all snowy. To Mount Dresnir by way of the Underdwell. Say, you're from around here. What do you know about the Alori? They're elder demons that the old kingdoms banished into the earth. They feed on magic and really, really hate Magni. So, about the same as everyone else knows. They're a threat to the natural order, Initiate. Cursed by the Pentasad to live out their poisonous existence in the clutch of a hungry darkness. Is that better? I'd workshop it. So, what am I... Red ley lines. Exactly? Just look for a mining operation, smartass. It was abandoned once they accidentally dug into the Alori Caves and got... Eaten. Eaten. Awesome. Alright, uh, let's see here. The Alori. The demons of Abium, the magic eaters. In the time of legend, mankind war, uh, warred mercilessly against the hated Alori, ultimately driving them underground. It's the only time the dynamic families across the five kingdoms work toward a common cause, since the Alori's ability to drain magic threatened the existence of all Magni. Kalthus. The kingdom of Kalthus is a rugged land, sharp cliffs and snow, and jagged red glass. It surrendered to Risharn a few years back after Sandrak burned most of its Magni order alive. Some of the Oathsworn still survive, planning a rebellion that may never come. Zendara is from Kalthus, though she never really talked about it much. Okay. Well, I like it. It gives a... Uh, it very much... If you guys uh, remember the um, um, Far Cry 4 and the Far Cry 4 playthrough, it very much gives that, like, you know, um, Tibet-type vibe already. The flags and everything. It gives that Tibetan-type type vibe. Even like these, for example, very like Tibetan looking. I like it. Kalthus Maelstrom. So this one has a better fire rate and more capacity. damage goes down so much you know if I if I upgraded the damage to the green is there a there, there should be one for that too correct a yeah, damage fall green sigil strikes
from. Door is locked. So. So is really the the upgrade is not for like damage it's not it's really for the skill so it's for the mana generation that kind of sucks cuz uh all right see you later Not enough cash. So those now. So there's a better fire rate, less damage, all critical damage up. Break damage is less, but it gives you red mana generation as well as red. Uh, well, there is two upgrades to it as well. I don't know. We'll see. We'll we'll keep that one around for now. Maybe, maybe not. Damn.
Nothing. Okay, um... Oh, she can get in here. Go up and around. Blasting through them. See, I like all the weapons I have right now. Like, everything I've gotten, I, I wouldn't want to change. Alright, I see this now. in there. how we got up here.
there another red somewhere? I don't understand the fucking problem! Oh, there is another red. There we go. I I was thinking like, oh, there's a that's the red. How come it's not working? Well, it's because it's not the red. It was in fact not the red. Uh, what the fuck is this for? Does this like just lead back down or some shit? Yeah, again, there's just all this, like, dumb crystal puzzle shit that I don't find appealing at all. None of it's fun, and I'm not going to really, I'm not going to even bother, so... Cause it's a bunch of convoluted bullshit. Okay, what the hell am I doing over here? Oh. Nice. Oh, I have some ascensions. Let's see this ring. It's all green, so. 
Armor 100, shield 75, link recharge 10 minus 19. Mm, this one might actually be worth having. I don't use blink all that much. Yeah, we'll do this. Alright, uh, let's see. Critical damage, fall blue strikes by 10. I kind of want to... That. Red control damage. Get those up a little bit. Flora of Avium Volume 3. Flora of Kalthus. The humble accounts of an ecologist and hound of the flora we've discovered during our travels. White Bark Pine. When most travelers first set foot in Kalthus, their attention is wholly focused on the gleaming pinnacles of the mountains. These noble peaks spear high into the sky and com uh, compete with the pent pentasod for control of the pa uh, panorama. My gaze, however, was focused on the generously sculpted pines that cling stubbornly to the cliffs. This is the highest growing pine I've come across in Avium. Its beautiful white bark and bundles of pale yellow green needles match the snowy landscape quite well. The Kalth harvests the seeds of these cones, roast them, and turn them into a fine porridge. My hound greatly enjoys the twisted branches and often trots over to me with one for a game of tug. Mm, don't call it that. Reindeer uh, lechen. Lechen? The silvery green lechen is found spread across all regions of Kalthus in little antlered herds. Is a very interesting species with a unique form of reproduction, wherein it clones itself by breaking apart and allowing the wind spirits to blow it to new areas. In fact, I'm told the species originated in the dry sand dunes of Oromin, but in the cataclysm were blown all the way to this mountain range. Uh, canary thistle. Among the gleaming snow, I find clusters of these thistles stubbornly bursting through the cysts, uh, sorry, crusts, uh, a shock of green lobed leaves against the white. They have purple-tinted white flowers, which are ringed and by spines, like most of the plant. My hound wisely gives it a wide berth after an unfortunate incident. She is quite fit now. I'm told that this is <clears throat> the species is, has anti-inflammatory properties and is used quite often by Carthusian medics. Why is this locked? Yeah. 
Hi. Okay, so then this is how we... Oh, we were here, and then it moved us here. Okay. It just moved us up a little bit. Fuck you, green man! <laughs> Woo! What a battle! Drop in here. Oh, there is a staircase. Never mind. I didn't even see the staircase. I thought maybe they'd be. Some oh, there is something on this level. I was correct. Better to take the stairs, I see. You know, if you're gonna have me do this, you might wanna have it work. Gonna be another fucking traversal.
charge a little bit. Ah oh, damn, this is really going. There was a bit there was a bit of luck in there just a little bit of luck that was not all skill that was not all skill some of it was just pure luck Ooh, more mana and an ascension all right let's see kind of want to cool down of lash This as well. Yeah, those some of man, the traversal ones are I think the hardest of them all, to be honest. taken care of. The Underwell. Here we go. the Underdwell. No sign of Thaddeus yet, or the Alori. The fact that you can even use your Farkal Stone bodes well for you. An Alori absorbs all magic around it like a horrible walking sponge. It's no wonder the Magni dynasties drove them underground long ago. They are ghastly. You aren't exactly reassuring me here. Steady on, Immortal. 
The Underwell. Home to the Alori, the Underwell is a massive lair of the Magic Eaters, one that humans wisely avoid. No one knows if there's just one Underwell or many. Some people say there's a whole network of them just below the surface of Avium, filled with countless Alori thirsty for the power of the ley lines above. What are they, the fucking Locust? Jesus. The Warrens. Alright, we have a gate here as well. Alright, well, I think we're gonna stop it there for this part, and then when we come back next time, we will uh, we'll continue in the Underwell, so... Well, uh, I guess we'll probably be discovering the Alori, so we'll see how that uh, bodes for us. So uh, take care, and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.